uh, welcome to my channel AJ Studio. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss regarding Serpency Gasket. And we in the previous video, we have seen how to debug the Serpency Gasket line by line. But in this, we are going to do a certain modification in the program and see how it exactly works. And uh, let us try to rotate the object uh, in x axis, y axis, and z axis. And we will have certain uh, inbuilt functions which can be used in mini project. If you want to create a mini project using OpenGL, that would be uh, quite useful. Such functions we will use, and I will also explain how exactly it works. So, first, uh, let us debug the program and uh, let us see the output. So I will give the number of divisions 5 and this is the output you are getting that is uh, for number of divisions. This is the basic uh, Serpency gasket uh, 3D gasket program. Now I, I what I want is I want to rotate this object. I want to rotate this object. How can I do that? So in your uh, if you want to do a mini project on this uh, you can rotate an object. You can move an object using different different inbuilt functions. So we will see that which may be helpful for you. So I will close this and we will see how exactly it works uh, and let me go to the function display. You can see in display, uh, so here before flush I am going to rotate a object. So I am calling that afterwards I am going to rotate. So there is an inbuilt function uh, GL, so uh, control space, okay, uh, give control space, it will give all the things here, I will write R, you can see here. Uh, uh, R O yes rotate D rotate F is there rotate D means double rotate F means float you can use anything I will use rotate F to rotate the object G L rotate F and open the bracket okay open the bracket and first you can see uh, it is showing angle uh, angle is the speed of rotation angle is speed of rotation and normally it is measured in the radians. Okay, always it is measured in radians, 0.2 radians. That means in that much speed it will rotate. And uh, there are uh, uh, other three parameters x, y, and z. So now it is x. X means whether you want to rotate the object in x axis, y axis, or z axis. Now, uh, if you make x as 1, it will rotate in uh, x axis. If you make y 1, it will rotate in y axis. If you make z as 1, it will rotate in z axis. So I will make x as 1 and remaining 0, 0, 0.0, 0.0. So I will close this. Uh, see here, uh, GL rotate f uh, first parameter. Uh, you have seen that first parameter and second parameter, third parameter, fourth. I have made uh, I, I made it to rotate in x direction. I have made it as x 0. Now is this enough? No, it is not enough. If I do this, uh, you should tell uh, if you just rotate it, it will not rotate automatically. So that you will use one more function in int main. Okay, in main function, uh, before glut main loop, uh, just give uh, idle function. Glut idle function. Uh, control space glut idle. Yes, you can see over here idle function. You can use idle function, and I sh I will uh, write which function it is. I will write it as display because I have written rotate f in display that is why this one so what is this idle function idle function means see uh, i told you uh, the object should rotate itself without any help okay without any help it should rotate idle function is something like when uh, when it is idle when it is idle okay it should it should rotate it should rotate so that's the thing uh, one more thing see I will give an example for idle function. Idle function means if you do nothing, it should rotate. You should, if you do nothing, it should rotate. That is why idle function. It's something like screen saver. Uh, screen saver is something like uh, how exactly screen saver works. See, if you if your system is idle, automatically the screen saver will come and play. The same way here also idle function. Idle function means if you do nothing, it should rotate. So it should rotate means okay. Sorry, I yeah. Rotate. Okay, it should rotate. When it is idle, it should rotate. So the rotate function is in display. I will show it once again. The display in inside the display rotate f is there. Means when it is idle, it should rotate. If you do nothing also, you just run the program, it will rotate automatically. It will rotate automatically. So that is why idle function. Idle function is used. Idle function is used. Once again, I'll repeat idle function. 
just make sure that when it is idle it should rotate it's something like screen saver screen saver is the best example now now uh, let us see whether this one will work or not okay i will uh, start debug and would you like to build yes sir okay it will ask for enter the number of division i'll give four yes it is oh no it's not rotating uh, something is wrong in your uh, code or something is uh, not rotating there should be a reason you will see what is the reason i will tell you now it's very simple uh, and uh, in the previous program i told you what is load identity load identity is to keep the identity of the image in your display function load identity is there now you will understand what's the importance of load identity now i will comment load identity i will comment it i will comment this line okay now i will comment this now i will run the program now you see what will happen i'll debug and start without debugging yes sir I will give the number division 4. You can see that the object is rotating in x direction. See, this one is, it is rotating like this. This is means x direction. It is rotating in x direction. I maximize it. You can see it all. So, it is rotating in which direction? x. Okay, x. So, I will close this. So, now one question will come. What is this load identity? So, I told in the previous video load identity is used to keep the identity of the image identity means the identity of image will be like that itself if you don't remove load identity it will not rotate it will not rotate because it will keep the identity it will not make it to rotate by itself that is why it that's the uh, importance of identity matrix now we will change a few things we will change a few things that is the main importance of identity here i will make it as zero and i will make y as one okay everybody uh, this is the one change i have done y as one now let's uh, debug the program yes let's debug the program i'll give division as five yes you can see it is rotating in y direction this one is rotating in which direction y direction so it's uh, very nice uh, to see uh, see this this one is y and y is fixed and it is rotating with respect to y this one is with respect to y let's see how it will rotate in z okay how it will rotate in z so i will make it uh, z1 okay i will make z as one okay and uh, we will see how exactly it will work uh, yes i will debug the program and uh, we will see how exactly it will work now i'll give number of division 5 see how exactly this one is work this one with respect to z See this point this point is z i'll maximize it you can see this with respect to z that's very important how exactly it works and all so it is with respect to z so that's very important that's very important let's see what is this first parameter what is this first parameter uh, i will give point 2 is there i will give point 7 now okay let's run the program and see what is the difference between that point 7 i, have, I will give I will give five divisions and I will rotate. You can see the speed of the rotation is quite high. That is angle or uh, number of rotations. The speed, okay. You can see, maximize it. Of course, frames will be slow. If you maximize it, the frames will be faster. That is why you will feel like it is faster. That is the, the way I works. Okay. Uh, I hope you understood. If you want more speed and all, 0.7 I will give. Uh, debug the program and uh, we'll see how it works thing like uh, firecracker this is the way you can do a lot of things in opengl programs and these programs are beyond the our uh, this one and this is not uh, according to the chapter or this one this is uh, above that that's why i'm doing this and uh, i do a lot of things one of the thing uh, modification in your program you can do even you can do a lot of modification in your program you can change the colors and other things you can try it in your code and do it you can rotate you can rotate with respect to mouse um, direction that is also is there so is very nice i hope you understood the program and uh, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to share subscribe and like